So I'm going to get right to the sentencing now, though, of ex-officer Kim Potter, who was convicted of manslaughter in the shooting death of Dante Wright during a traffic stop. Antonio Ramanucci is here as an attorney for Dante Wright's family. He joins me now. Antonio, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you, Don. Although Dante's family is thankful for this guilty verdict, this sentence is nowhere near what they were hoping for. How are they doing tonight? Well, the question is, I mean, I don't know how they recover from this. I mean, they are deeply disappointed. They're exasperated by this, Don. You know, they were looking for justice. Yes, they got the conviction. The conviction was there. But there are two ends to this. And and the fact that there was only two years when the maximum could have been 15, the guidelines were 86 months, a little bit over seven years, and to see a downward deviation, an extreme deviation by three to 400 um, percent, they left that courtroom just devastated and disappointed. Keith Ellison, the attorney general of Minnesota, initially had asked the judge for a stiffer sentence, but here's what he just told Laura Coates. It is important to remember that we did earn a conviction. Uh, years ago, officers weren't even held accountable for these kind of things. Nobody would have been charged at all. Now, these kind of things and these cases that, you know, there's equal justice for everyone who does this conduct. Uh, and, uh, you know, two years is a substantial sentence. It's not what we asked for, but it's not a slap on the wrist. It is a substantial amount of time. And she will never be a police officer. She will never be able to own a firearm. She will always carry the stigma of being a convicted um, felon. Response to that, Antonio. Well, first of all, Keith Ellison is a hero to the state of Minnesota because he really has brought the state to a new level in terms of prosecuting police officers uh, for ones that commit needless crimes, such as the one that, that happened here. The fact that there was a conviction is some solace, but you've got to shift the focus here from Kim Potter onto the Dante Wright family. And, and you see Judge Chu kept the focus on Kimberly Potter today, how it was tragic, how it wasn't intentional about her background, about her future, about the fact that jail won't deter. But what about the Wright family? What about Dante, who was a young man who had a promising future? What about him? And that's where I think we get lost here because the focus gets put on Potter. Now, of course, it's her being sentenced, but she is the one who pulled the trigger on the gun, who ended a young, a valuable life. Speaking of the judge, uh, and the judge was very emotional. She appeared to get choked up while delivering Kim Potter's sentence. She even urged people to empathize with the ex-cop. Dante's mom talked about that. Listen. Okay. I'm not sure you were able um, to hear. Were you able to hear what she was saying? I, I was able to hear enough, and, and, and I certainly have a response to that, if, if that's what you're looking for, yeah. because I would really like to respond to that. Yeah. You know, I, I think what happened was that Judge Chu was in tears over putting, uh, at putting Kim Potter in jail, because I don't think, I don't think that Judge Chu wanted to put, uh, wanted to put Kim Potter in jail at all. I, I was I was nearly falling out of my chair listening to Judge Chu and what she was saying about Kim Potter. I really thought she was going to sentence her to probation. That's what I thought. That, that's where I thought this was going. And then it was like, well, let, let's give her two years because she needs some time. I don't think she wanted to sentence her to any time at all, let alone two years. Is, is there a, some sort of reform that is needed for judges or for the court system because a lot of people are outraged by this and have been by um, what happens with with these cases but also with judges and the power that they have the discretion that they have look Don, i'm an attorney i've been a lawyer for many many years i have so much respect for the judiciary i have respect for judicial discretion i know what a difficult job judges have to do but when you look at a sort of deviation that is 
away from three, four hundred percent, right? I mean, then what, what all we're asking for is consistency. Minnesota had another conviction of another officer just last year of second degree manslaughter for for what almost three times the sentence that 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 Potter got. Of course, we know what Chauvin got, but that was a murder. But there 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 seems to be no consistency. And we accept the we accept the sentence. Yes, we have to take Keith Ellison's words. We accept the sentence. It, we do not have to agree with it. But certainly, I think there needs to be a lot more consistency with the way people are sentenced. Mm-hmm. You mentioned um, Derek Chauvin. I mean, the judge said this case was uh, different, far more different from manslaughter cases, uh, as well as other high-profile police killings. She referenced the, the killing of George Floyd, saying it was nothing like that. But for the right family, for the right family, they have lost a son, still lost a son. There's no difference to the right family um, at at all. They 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 love their son, they miss their son, and he was a he was cherished. I mean, I I don't know how else to say it. He was he was their boy, he was their buddy, he was their son, he was their friend, and it really makes no difference. He's gone. And that's because Kimberly Potter, you know, we have to people say, well, she was on the force for 26 years. That's a mitigating circumstance. Well, I look at it as she's on the force for 26 years. Why didn't she know better? It's not that she wasn't trained. Oh, she was trained. All right. It's how was she trained? What was the manner of her training that continued throughout her 26 years? Why didn't she know? that that was a gun versus a taser? Why didn't she know that her index finger was on was on the trigger of a gun that was pointed at someone as opposed to a a, a yellow taser? And And to the right family, none of that makes a difference because Dante is gone. He's dead. Anthony, thank you. Our regards to the family. We appreciate you joining. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.